Hey there, Stephen Pegg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for checking out our videos as always. We appreciate you checking them out. Our Disney trip continues as we make a room switch from uh, Riviera to uh, Bay Lake Towers. And there's a, kind of a reason that we're doing that. We wanted to do Riviera because it's brand new and we've never done it before. Uh, and we like Bay Lake, but there's a more of an important reason why we're switching and Peg can tell you what that's all about. Um, what it is is Bay Lake is, of course, one of the cheapest units to get on Disney Vacation Club points. So um, we're going to go there since we got our room notification. We got a 2.38 today, which is unusual because we usually don't get Bay Lake until about four o'clock. Well, well, the cool thing about it is um, Bay Lake, uh, if you've not been to Bay Lake Towers before, right next to the Contemporary Hotel, um, it's right next to the Magic Kingdom in walking distance. Now, it used to be we'd have to take the back way to get to Bay Lake Towers because we'd have to go through uh, the Magic Kingdom's main main parking entrance, which would have been, this would have been the exit that we would take to get off and go the back way in. But now that they've got all the construction and the road rebuilt, we can take the main entrance in and we just bypass the main entrance where you pay for parking to get into uh, Bay Lake Towers. So we're gonna drive about five miles, so we'll see you here in a couple seconds. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our video channel yet, please do so, we'd appreciate it. And also hit the bell notification button below, that way you'll know when we put up other videos. Um, and if you like the videos, just hit the like button as well. But uh, our travels to a Disney continues. So we're taking the exit now into the Magic Kingdom. This is where you would pay for parking. And it used to be you would have to go through here just to get to Bay Lake, unless of course you took the back way that we learned the hard way about how to take. But they've now built this flyover uh, bypass. So you basically bypass the parking entrance to get down to Bay Lake Tower, also to the Polynesian and to uh, the Grand Floridian as well. So this would be the way you'd go to get to those three resorts. And here you get your first look at the monorail tracks. These are the monorail, uh, this is the monorail track that takes you out to Epcot. Um, and you might get a peek at the monorail. I don't know um, if it's gonna be running right now. It's running, but I don't know if it's gonna run while we're driving down through here. But uh, that's the monorail track that takes you out to Epcot. Parking is over here on the left. Um, they bring you in here, they're not, they're, if it's full, this is full. But remember, Disney is at 25% capacity right now. So the parking areas are not gonna be full. This parking here is for employees, cast members. So that's why they're parking out here, but this is all for cast members out here. Wilderness Lodge is gonna be off to your right here. This is where you would turn to get to Wilderness Lodge. You turn left to get to the Polynesian and to the Grand Floridian. Go straight to get to the Contemporary Hotel and to Bay Lake Towers. And I will say that Disney has the biggest bus system in the country. Their bus system is bigger than New York City. And in normal times, I'll just park my car and ride the bus wherever. Right now, I don't feel like getting on a bus but and we're driving, but they do have the biggest and best bus system uh, in the country here. So when you get into the one of the resorts, just ride the bus, park your car and ride the bus to wherever you wanna go. And ahead of us is the Contemporary. The bus is in the way right now, but you'll see it here in a second. The uh, Contemporary Hotel is it's gonna be off on your right. And there you go, that's the Contemporary Hotel. And there's a monorail pulling into the Contemporary Hotel right now. The uh, Contemporary is on the monorail stop. Um, Contemporary, the Polynesian, and the Grand Floridian, along with ticket and transportation, are all on the inner loop of the monorail. So you've got uh, you've got those three resorts that you can uh, get on the monorail. Uh, over to the left here is uh, Cinderella's Castle and the Magic Kingdom. To the right, where we're going to turn into, Bay oh, straight ahead, Space Mountain, boys and girls, and the construction behind it is the new Tron Mountain, uh, the new Tron ride uh, that's supposed to open up in time for 2021. So we're gonna pull in here now, and uh, I should be able to use 
my magic my band. magic band to get <laughs> by the uh, the gate here. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Last time it let us in to the Riviera, but wouldn't let us into the building. So we'll see if it works. Thank you. That's a long stretch. Thank you. So straight ahead is Bay Lake Towers, and there's the monorail going across into the Contemporary. So we're gonna park, and uh, I'm gonna let Peg do the uh, do the room uh, do the room uh, tour for you. So we completed the online check-in. We're gonna see if our magic band works today. Okay, we know our room, so we're heading that way. As we mentioned, there's a lot of touch points when you enter a resort. And one of them is the elevators. And there is some rules they have. One of them is one party for or four, four individuals per elevator. And there is disinfectant wipes at the entrance. And there is a hand sanitizer dispenser. I always use a Kleenex. And that's checked to see if anybody's there. Nobody's in there. Let's go in. I think we're on the third floor, aren't we? Yes. So we're on the third floor. Uh, we won't tell you our room number, but we're on the third floor. We are using a standard view, and it's the cheapest point. We normally don't care about the view, to be honest with you, because you don't get these resorts for the view. You get these resorts to get into the parks for the most part. If you get a view, fine and dandy, but that's not what I worry about. So we've arrived in our room. We didn't have any problems around Magic Band this time. Uh, what we did was we made sure when we left our previous resort, since we had um, a different resort, which is Aurora, we told them to check out. So we have arrived in our room. This is a studio standard view. And then we were actually on the third floor. So the third floor standard view, we actually got really lucky. Standard views can have parking lot views, but this one actually gave us a view of the Magic Kingdom. The Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain, and you see the crane for the new ride, Tron. So our Magic Bands here did work. We didn't have any problems with it coming here, not like our previous one. So as you come into the room, the bathroom first with a barn door style. And then you actually have a toilet and you have a shower, bathtub combination. And this one actually, I was pretty amazed that they don't have the pumps in yet. This one does not. This actually still has the toiletries for you, individual little two ounce containers. So I'll be taking those home. We use them on future trips as we told you that we pack our own. I've wiped everything down. It does come with towels. And then there is the vanity. The mirror lighting. It is very modern decor. This actually connects to a one bedroom. We actually have some stuff here already. Um, into one bedroom and to the left would be your one bedroom. And then after that, to the right of that, you would have the kitchen galley area. It is a really, really good size. I'm amazed at how big this is for how small a room this is. This is actually one of the smallest DVC rooms out there. It is actually one of the, like I said, the smallest DVC room. This one only sleeps four. And there is a coffee maker that they do come with you. Toaster, microwave, and up here there is cups and plastic plates. What's in here? There's some silverware, coffee, cream, 
can openers. Nothing in there. And extra roll paper towels. And underneath here, you have a recyclable bin, trash can, and you have dish soap. You have more dish soap here, paper towels there. And a fridge. So on the other side, you have a mirror and you have shelves. When you walk into the main room area, you do have a queen size bed. And you have basically pretty artwork, very contemporary artwork. And then you have the his and hers, like both nightstands. I like to do a nightstand on each side, even though these are small, I still like them for me to put my phone, my iPad. And of course the clock is officially gone. So the clock is officially moved. There's no clock in here. So your clock is basically your phones and there's more artwork. And that bed does pull out so you can sleep for Ottoman. You have a small dining table with two chairs. And then you have the TV. TV is still a small TV. Pretty soon I hope they renovate it. But like I said, this is still one of the smallest TVs on the property. There's the mirror. Let's go into the closet. What's inside this closet? There is a safe, luggage rack, and extra pillow and blankets. So this one actually still do have the ties that they have that I mentioned in the previous video. So this is for safety purposes. So they know that you've actually opened it up and used it. So they are now sanitizing stuff. Um, there is a sanitized notice that they actually put inside one of the rooms. As cleaning, which would include, basically they would clean all the door handles, poles and knobs, light switches and controls, closet amenities, beverage area, bathroom fixtures and surfaces, bathroom amenities, thermostat electronic controls, bedding, electronic devices, hard surfaces, clean and wrapped amenities. That's what they did. And these are all the touch points that they said they did. Even though they said they did, I still went through and I wiped everything down that I thought needed to be wiped down so we could stay safe. Watching our videos, do appreciate it as we get unpacked and get ready for the next couple of days here at Disney. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, hit the bell notification button below because we've got a couple more videos we're going to put up during our Disney vacation here in Orlando and you'll want to check them out. We're going to be at Walt Disney World. Uh, we're going to be in the Magic Kingdom tomorrow, so you'll have a video for that we're going to put up as we check out social distancing from uh, the Magic Kingdom tomorrow. As always, thanks for watching.